The single biggest feature request for Imposca 2 was to allow the processing of external audio through the Imposca's glorious filters. And we're pleased to say that via a dedicated effects version, we can now do this and more. In fact, there are a number of ways that this can be done, but in this video, we're going to focus on the most common one, namely using the Imp2 as an effect, as an insert on an audio channel. So you can see here that I have a drum and bass pattern on the audio track. And let's just bypass the Imp2 for a moment and listen to this in isolation. Now if I instantiate the Imp2, initially you won't hear any audio if you press play. And this is because we need to route the audio through it. And to do this, I simply select audio input on both oscillators 1 and oscillator 2. Then click on the keyboard hold. And finally, play a note to open the gate. Now if we hit play, we'll hear the affected audio track. Now once audio is passing through the Imp2, we can play with a multitude of things. Firstly, we can introduce the effects, in this case the delay. Secondly, we can tweak the filter cutoff. And of course, resonance. And indeed, filter separation. By applying a filter LFO, we can make the cutoff fluctuate in accordance with the LFO rate and waveform shape. In this case, I have LFO2 active, and this is a rate of two cycles per bar. Now using the AUX mod, we can affect things like filter Q or filter separation. In this case, I'm going to assign it to LFO1 and apply an amount. There's separation and here's resonance. Whilst this is exceptionally cool, there are a number of other things we can do, such as repeat the envelopes. So here I have the envelopes synced to 8 beats per bar. And by activating the repeat, I can close the gate time on envelope 1. it up. Similarly, I can apply this to both envelope 1 and 2. Even change the envelope settings for the filter. And go back to just envelope 1. We can also get more outrageous. For example, by setting oscillator 2 to a waveform and then introducing ring modulation, we can create all sorts of gnarly sounds by then detuning oscillator 2 and transposing to taste. So here's no ring mod, and now with a degree of ring mod. 
if we want everything ring mod, we simply adjust the oscillator balance right the way to two. But let's have 50-50 in this case. Now if I change the AUX mod to LFO2 pitch, we can get even more outrageous. Using the new unison mode in Imposca 2, we can take a fairly mundane synth sound and make it absolutely massive. So here we have two sawtooth waveforms in oscillators 1 and 2 with no detune, and this is what it sounds like. Fairly mundane. Now normally what we do is detune oscillator 2 slightly to create a bit more fatness. And that's completely acceptable. But we now have a selection of unison modes which can make this even huger. We have mono unison, poly two voice, right up to poly eight voice unison. So let's just have a listen to mono unison. Now this will sound exactly the same because actually we're only using a single voice stack defined by mono in the polyphony knob. Now if I change that to duo and apply a degree of detune, it starts to sound a lot more fat. We can add a four voice stack, eight voice, right up to 16. And here it starts to get decidedly humongous. We can also spread each of the unison voices across the stereo spectrum increasingly by simply turning the spread knob. And here we have 100%. We also have poly unison as well. So here's 16 note polyphony, but with a two voice stack. Right up to an eight voice stack with 16 note polyphony. Now we also have pan modes, but these aren't for the individual unison voices. These are actually for notes. Now there are five modes, so let's take for example mode one, where the larger the spread we allocate, lower notes will be in the left hand of the stereo spectrum, right across to the high notes being in the right hand. Or mode two, which is a favourite of ours, is where each note is panned randomly. Let's have a listen to that. 